Breaking right now at noon, two states, one team is now a reality. Governor Henry McMaster just signed a $115 million incentives bill into law. It means the Panthers can build a state-of-the-art headquarters in Rock Hill. <music> Check this out. Hundreds of people packed Fountain Park this morning to celebrate the historic day for the Carolinas. We have live team coverage right now at noon, including sports director Phil Orban. He was with owner David Tepper's excitement. We start things out, though, with South Carolina Bureau reporter Greg Suskin on what this means for everyone. Greg. Yeah, and I will tell you, it's so exciting down here today. Even going back months ago, when all this was still being kicked around down in Columbia, people here in Rock Hill were telling me that once this is a done deal, they said, we're going to have a huge pep rally right here in Fountain Park downtown. We're going to welcome this team the right way. And that's just what they finished up just this morning. And hundreds of people did show up this morning in Fountain Park here to welcome this team as the Carolina Panthers expand into South Carolina. They brought along Sir Purr, the Top Cats, a drum line as well. And of course, every state, local, and even federal lawmaker that had anything to do with this was also here to thank the team. Because you'll remember this was never just as simple as team owner David Tepper saying, hey, I want to build a practice facility in South Carolina, because the state had to change the law to allow this to happen. Of course, that was a very long battle, a hard fought battle. Some fans told me they had some doubt it was ever going to get to this day and see that happen. But today it was all smiles and excitement. Incredible disbelief, but yes, this is my town and my team. This is the double. You get two. Yeah, and that common refrain of two states, one team was heard a lot here in Rock Hill this morning. Of course, we'll have full coverage of this tonight on Eyewitness News and also more information about just why this is such a landmark deal for Rock Hill. Back well, to you. A lot of excitement. Our Greg Suskin reporting for us live from Fountain Park. Let's bring in sports director Phil Orban now. Phil, major deal, of course, for the Panthers for Rock Hill and, of course, David Tepper, who's really pushing for this. Yeah, exactly. And David Tepper's message to Rock Hill was simple and straightforward. This is not just a football field coming to the city. It was a bill signing unlike any you'd seen before. Fans cheering the Panthers owner as he approached the podium with his message of what the team really means by the motto, two states, one team. Tepper talked about what else was coming to the city with the Panthers, world-class medical facilities, a busier Rock Hill Airport, bringing in patients to be treated, and of course, the state-of-the-art practice facility scheduled to be built in Rock Hill. The idea was simple. Everything that makes the Panthers great in Charlotte is coming with them to South Carolina. So this is going to be a showcase down here and going to bring people down to this region and we'll have, you know, you know, just a, a sense of excellence, not only up there for the football team, but everything we do down here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And one other interesting note, David Tepper touched on the future with the team in Spartanburg. He said he would never abandon the team's longtime training camp home entirely, instead suggesting perhaps a fan fest would be hosted there in the future. Back to you. All right, Phil Orban, live for us from Rock Hill. Definitely an exciting day out there, Phil. Thanks. Channel 9's coverage of this historic day for the Carolinas not over yet. Our Greg Suskin will have live reports for us once again today, starting at 5 o'clock.